Hello friends, myself Pratik and in this session we are going to discuss about GitHub Actions. Let us start this session. GitHub Action is a powerful automation platform which is directly built into GitHub enabling developers to create continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline. It helps us to streamline the development process. So here there are two major terms. One is continuous integration and continuous deployment. Let's understand these two terms quickly before moving ahead. Continuous integration is the practice of frequently merging code changes into central repository, followed by automated builds and tests. So you know that in GitHub, you are working on child branches and you frequently merge these child branches with central repository. So when you merge these child branches with the main branch, there are some test cases that we wish to run. So with GitHub Action, we can automate that process. That certain test cases will automatically run whenever you issue the merge command from child branch to main branch. See, I ensure that code changes integrate smoothly and catching bug early, making the integration process faster, reliable, and automated. Continuous deployment, on the other hand, automates the release process so that code can be automatically deployed to the production after passing all the test and review. GitHub Action also free the teams from repetitive management tasks. We can automate a lot of management activity by using GitHub Actions. For example, whenever you create a new issue, you have to label it. You have to assign that to someone. Or when someone try to merge the code with the main branch, you have to review the code, you have to run the test cases. So all these things can be automated by using GitHub Actions. It means whenever you create a new issue, it can be automatically labeled as to-do. Whenever you create a new issue, it can be assigned to a person, let's say X. Whenever you issue a merge command with the main branch, it can automatically run test cases and review the code. Whenever you make some changes in the main, it automatically built it and deploy it on your server. So these kind of actions can be automated by using GitHub Actions and it smooths the management activities. So GitHub Actions follows two important components. One is GitHub Events and second is GitHub Actions. So GitHub Events are specific activities that trigger the workflows. So events are push, which are triggered whenever code is pushed to a branch, pull request. Event is triggered when a pull request is open, updated or merged. Release, trigger whenever a release is created, published or updated. And whenever an issue is open, closed or labeled. And similarly fork, triggered whenever a repository is forked. And whenever these events happen, the workflow action will automatically trigger. So the second part for this is GitHub Actions. So GitHub Actions are the workflow which are triggered by the events. So all the events which I discussed in the previous slide. So all those events can cause triggering of the event and they define a series of steps that automate various tasks. So these GitHub Actions allow us to run tests automatically on different platforms. It helps us to build and package the application for deployment. GitHub Actions can be automated repeated tasks like labeling, issue assignment, and so on. And it can be deployment of our application on various environments like AWS, Azure, or Docker. In next session, we will be implementing these processes in GitHub by using GitHub Actions. So please watch next video session to understand how we can actually implement these in practice. Thanks for watching this video.